Next up, we got Carmen Olson. Hey. Thanks so much hey. for being with us. Absolutely. Carmen is the Senior Director of Business Innovation at Craft Brew Alliance. Did Correct. I get that right? Something like that. Something it was like close that. enough. Okay. Yeah. What is your exact role? The, uh, the role is with the Emerging Business. So emerging Business, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Okay. So Emerging Business involves you being and working with some of the smaller brands mm -hmm. uh, that you've got involved with. I'm assuming uh, Cisco is one of those brands that you they guys are. have invested with uh, recently this year. Partner. Yeah, can you tell us a little about uh, you know why you guys uh, did that? I mean, I know the story's been covered a little bit, but yeah. you know how that relationship how that relationship has been going since the uh, investment. So um, it's very early stages right now. We're working yep. with them on um, trying to understand what the distribution footprint is going to be. Okay. So um, they're currently in about 35 states, and we're trying to figure out which states really make the most sense. I think that Wynn talked about that today yep. um, and about really making sure that you're with the right partners in, in the right states. So we're evaluating that with them right now, um, also evaluating the portfolio and what we want to roll out. Um, what modifications we want to make to packages, if any. You know, I think the beauty of a partnership with a brand like Cisco is that they're already doing things right. So we want to come in and really not mess it up. Right. Um, so our goal is to let that brand live and sort of breathe in the way that it has been doing that. Um, so really similar to what we, we've done with Appalachian Mountain Brewery, too. Right. Now, good segue. Appalachian Mountain Brewery uh, was the winner of yeah. uh, Brewbound Session Startup Brewery Challenge. Uh, I think it was last year. Last, yeah, uh, it was number three. L yes, last yep. June um, in Boston. And uh, you're a judge, and you have been a judge uh, since uh, since the last time, and you're a judge this time around, I believe. Correct? Yes, I'm a judge uh, today as well with Ben Dobler, our Brewing Innovation Manager. So the Startup Brewery Challenge is an, you know, an interesting opportunity for early stage brands to get some exposure and obviously get a partnership with you, yeah. with you guys, which is you know uh, one of the wins, I guess, from a victory. Um, can you tell us about what you do and how you work with these brands that actually yeah. end up winning? Yeah, so um, actually it was Braxton Brewing who won last year in, or won in June won in, in June. Chicago. Okay. Um, so Braxton out of Ohio. This, this past. Yeah, this, in, in, the yeah. last one. The last one the in Chicago. The very last okay. one. Um, so, you know, the winners of that event, so they came out to Portland in, I, I guess it was September. Okay. And um, it was, they were a really, really great group of people because they were so enthusiastic about learning from, you know, from our brewing um, operations team and from our marketing team. Yep. Um, we showed them a really great time in Portland and all of the craft um, breweries that are happening there. So they mm -hmm. got to check out a lot of spaces. Um, but ultimately, what we're looking for in the Startup Brewery Challenge winners are um, folks who have a really good story, a solid story. I think that, you know, with 4,144 breweries, yes. there's <laughs> a lot of people trying to say a lot of things. And so we're looking for um, breweries and brands whose stories really stick out and that are well-defined um, with people behind them and that yep. are from a real place. Um, Braxton had a really passionate group of folks who um, were very enthusiastic and dedicated to what they were doing. In fact, they had competed in the Startup Brewery Challenge a couple of years, um, the year previous to that, and were not selected. So um, I think their dedication and sort of perseverance and, and wanting to learn more mm -hmm. was really outstanding to us. Um, in addition, they were making some really fabulous beer. That's really important. So. The message of authenticity and really good beer yeah. is uh, is really important for some of these folks that are presenting today. It is, you know, um, Michael Kaiser when he spoke in um, Chicago, he he said that good beer is just a ticket to the game, and I I really believe that you know with so many breweries, um, you really have to have good beer. So while that is definitely a criteria, that's sort of the first filter, and then everyone else gets moved aside. Um, so the the story and the people behind the brand, I think, are the, are the next thing that we're looking at. Now, in terms of uh, what you do in uh, working with some of these brands mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, how does that how does that relationship work? I mean, you know, yeah. Crapper Reliance has uh, really five brands in its portfolio at this point, or is it six? Um, well, let's see, uh, seven, counting seven. our partner brands now. So. Okay, so we've got uh, Widmer. We have Widmer, Red Hook, Red Hook Kona, Kona, Omission, uh, Square Mile Cider, which Square is in the Cider, right. uh, Northwest, and then um, KCCO, which is a brand owned by the Chive um, yep. that we partner with. And then now we have Cisco Brewers and Appalachian Mountain Brewery. Right. So, so that might be actually. Of, in terms of emerging business, are you working with some of these folks on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, what's that like? Yeah. So we have um, we have an integration team. So we have a senior director who's heading up that team, um, and really taking. Um, so, for example, with 
with Appalachian Mountain Brewery. We're trying to figure out how to get their systems to work with our, within our systems. Moving from something like self-distribution where, um, it, you know, when Wynn was describing selling beer off of the back of the truck, that's exactly what was happening at AMB. Mm -hmm. So um, integrating them into our wholesaler network, working with AB and getting our sales team on board and um, prepared to sell the beer, um, as well as they're, they're now brewing their beer at our Portsmouth Brewery. Mm -hmm. um, so working on getting that beer qualified, they're just spending a lot of time with Ben Dobler, who's also on the panel with myself tonight, today, um, making sure that the beer is exactly as they think it should be. We've spent right. a lot of resources against that um, and making sure that we're representing their brand fairly and accurately. I mean, that's really amazing, and that's one of the perks of working with you guys, mm -hmm. I mean, is that you have the resources to help these brands scale quickly yeah. and scale their quality quickly. Yeah. Um, as far as quality, let's stay with that for a moment, because, you know, quality was something that was brought up, uh, you know, or has been brought up, you know, in the last two, three years. Um, do you feel like with the expansion of breweries, you know, over 4,000 at this point, the quality's taken a hit? Yeah, it'll be really, I'm really interested to hear how Simon talks about the breweries in the middle today because yep. um, with there's a, a lot of breweries sort of at the bottom and I think the last number that I remember is that there are only 200 breweries producing more than 10,000 barrels. Right. So while there are, you know, over 4,000 breweries right now, there, there's a lot of guys just doing beer for um, folks in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that there's a place for that and that will continue to, to exist. And, I, and we embrace it, you know, as part of the craft beer community. Um, but certainly they don't have access to the kind of QA facilities and, and um, sophistication that larger breweries like ourselves do. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we, unfortunately, we have to wrap up. Yeah. But Carmen, thanks so much for being with us. I really appreciate it and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks so much, Ray. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.